What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay and I'm back to pop my sh again. I said I'm back to pop my sh again. What's up you guys? Um right now I just pulled up to work. Um but I got me some food. So y'all already know y'all read the title. This is a mukbang story time yeah i know i've been gone oh before we get into anything make sure you guys like comment share subscribe if you are not subscribed to this channel hit that button because you already know what's up you already know you're gonna you're gonna keep seeing my videos so it's like you might as well go ahead and subscribe now and be part of the early game and if you're a returning subscriber what's up what's good gang i'm back i've been gone but we're gonna just move forward from that y'all people my nails period y'all gotta see them because I didn't take a picture with him. Posting everybody was like, I'm gonna steal this. But it, I, it was my idea to like do an opposite. Like the white, black, and then it got the black, white, yacht. It's the details for me. But yeah, I just pulled up at work. Probably into my man. I just wanna say I'm very grateful and very, very much thankful to everyone who has been continuing supporting me, even though like I be off and on YouTube. Like y'all can only imagine, like, I literally like get subscribers every day i get people writing me every day and i'm just like oh my gosh i feel so loved because i am not like consistent as i should be i am doing a mukbang um on basically my crazy club stories or whatever and i'm gonna make this kind of like a recurring thing because i still you know work in the club the stories on the probably get crazier but <laughs> um i'm gonna share three with you guys today this was a requested video so shout out to you if you requested this video on crazy like you know club stories or whatever because i i uh i got some stories but i'm gonna share three today and also i'm doing all this i got the food in my hand y'all i got some burrito tacos y'all i've been craving these tacos yeah so we got the sauce and we got the cheese and y'all know i only eat seafood and sometimes chicken but um i have shrimp burrito tacos so yeah that's what i'm gonna be eating on yeah let's just get started with the stories i want somebody like to this video because i'm like oh my gosh like y'all like when y'all hit me up y'all be thinking like like being a bottle girl it's not just looking cute y'all like, we be having to go through stuff like mentally like it be like crazy people that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis so you gotta make sure like you're really really strong for it first bite mm. this is so good but i know i'm not gonna eat all this and to think i was about to get some salmon tacos too because it's like a mukbang but i'm like this story happened like this was probably one of my first first crazy encounters with a customer working at the club so this was had to been like probably like, my first month being a bottle girl so i was working one night and i had this group of people girls and boys you know they was mixing talking they bought drinks they bought a hookah i think um and they was getting some food it was this guy and he ordered some food and drinks at first i can't really remember what he ordered i think he ordered probably like lamb chops um a quesadilla and some drinks maybe whatever he ordered and i came back and somebody else wanted to put uh well his girlfriend i'm assuming she wanted to put something on his tab or whatever but he had already opened it he had already gave me the money for it he gave me the money for the like for the first order and then he wanted to add something else so however much he gave me i cannot remember the exact amount but however much he gave me he had money left over from the first order you know to end up like for me to give him change basically but i had to ask one of my co-workers for change i think it was like change for 20 or something like that so i can give him back his change but because he wanted to put that on there i was like okay well did you want me to just keep this and add on to whatever because he had got a he had ordered i think it was like a quesadilla and another drink or something that she wanted to put on the tab or whatever i was like well since i already got this i'm gonna keep this change and you know you give me the rest and he was like nah i gave you more than it i'm like no you didn't i cannot remember i think he tried to say he gave me a 50 dollar bill but he really gave me a 20 dollar bill because i remember asking my co-worker for the 20 dollars and change so he is arguing me up and down y'all like he is going back and forth with me about this bill and i'm like i'm not trying to take your money i i'm not trying to take your money he was thinking that he gave me 
a larger bill than what he did. I think he thought he gave me a fifty dollar bill, but like I said, he gave me a change. He gave me twenty dollar bill because I had to get changed for the twenty dollar bill, and I remember that. Hmm. So me and him going back and forth, like really getting into it about this bill that he supposedly gave me. Well, one thing I mean, I'm not gonna steal nobody's money. Like, come on now. Like, I'm not stealing nobody's money. Like, be for real with yourself. Like. like what i'm going back and forth and he slammed his hand on the table so i get loud at this point i'm ready to fight like ready to fight a grown man y'all i kid y'all not like this was like we was going back and forth so before it escalated because i never try to do too much with my customers and at my job because you know you don't want too much so i'm like okay let me just go back off so i went straight to my straight oh my gosh <laughs> I feel so gal. Tell me some scrape. My Memphis SMB literally, like, it be going in and out, in and out. <laughs> I was like, can I get changed for this $20 bill? Look at she's looking and that happened. So I went back. I said, what bill did I give you to get me changed for? She said, a $20 bill. I was like, okay, then. I know I'm not crazy. This man trying to accuse me, saying I took his money, saying he got me a $50 bill. She said, I don't even have enough change for $50. And so I'm going off. And the way the club is made, it's like a big circle. So you can see inside of the bar area. And that's where we were. I'm doing this. Like, I'm ready, like, to fight. Like, I'm just going crazy. Next thing I know, somebody grabbed my wrist. It's my manager. She put me back. She's like, come on, come on. You got to go to the bed. You got to go to the bed. She was like, calm down. Calm down. Like, you crazy. Like, she's like, what's wrong? Um, My coworker is like, this. Uh, one of the other managers, he was. He came back there. He was like, you crazy. Like, you was crazy. Like, everybody's saying, you crazy. Like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Mind y'all, this is probably like my first couple weeks being a bottle girl i was probably like my first week maybe this one so good and yeah i got the cheese to dip it in like stop on you y'all gonna see that stop on you this shit fire but um but that's your story she pulled me to the back. She's like, what's going on? You need to calm down. You need to calm down. I'm like, okay, I'm getting calm. I'm getting calm. So, she's like, what's going on? So, I explained to her the situation. Whoop -de -whoop. I'm going to find out, like, her, the girlfriend, like, she was standing, like, literally, because she seen us go to the back. So, she was standing, like, by the back. She said, I apologize. My boyfriend is just drunk. Um, He, he did make a mistake. And the man ended up tipping me on top of whatever it changed she said you could keep whatever you got and just here's some more because he really did make a mistake that was like that's probably like one of my craziest stories ever like when i say man this man like is really was really about to get the fight and then he came again a second time and made a big deal about his lamb chops i'm like dude i'm never take your order again i'm like because at this point you doing a lot so that had to be one of like my crazy stories and probably like one of the first crazy story i had working in the club crazy story was um you know you get your older crowd in the clubs at the young clubs you know they like you know they like you know pyt's pretty and things you know what i'm saying like you know sugar daddies and you know what i'm saying <laughs> we already know what's up so you know this old man came here came in by himself came in like a little early like he was kind of in the early crowd or whatever he was like i won't i don't know why he had, i think he had asked for a hookah no no he didn't i tried to offer him a hookah he was like nah i don't want a hookah i just want to drink because like, i got some beer i'm like nah we don't have beer but we have you know any liquor so i get him all his liquor he's trying to talk to me and y'all i'm gonna be honest like i'm not gonna say I don't like I don't like older guys. I'm not gonna say I don't like older guys. Like I don't know. Like this dude had to been about late forties, like type of shit. Like, about a girl, you know, you gotta kind of act like you like like the not like the person. I'm not talking about like flirting wise, but you gotta act like you ain't gotta act, but you know you gotta be cool with like whoever you're serving, whoever, whether it's a girl, a boy, a lady, a woman, an older person, a younger person. 
you have to be kind to whoever you're serving so i'm trying not to you know do too much but i'm standing firm like no sir you know i'm not interested or whatever so he's still ordering drinks still running up his tab he was like if you give me your number i'm gonna make sure i tip you i was like well the tip gotta be talking about something you're gonna get my number <laughs> the tip gotta the tip gotta be talking about something very much something 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 very much something <laughs> the tip got to be hitting on something to get my number like stop playing like no <laughs> he ended up tipping nice or whatever um i thought he was gonna leave he went to another table i had it was a group of girls he gonna sit over there with them my first instance was like ask like did y'all know him or anything like that because he was already you know he was drunk he was already giving me that type of weird vibe. So I'm trying to make sure, you know, that they are good. They was like, well, he told me he gonna buy our drinks. And I'm like, okay, I know he probably is because he did just run up a tab by himself. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let them, you know, do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you out in the club, you want you want free drinks, you want free bottles, you want a free section. Trust me, ladies, I know. The only thing that I know how to do, I know how to run the tab. So that tab was gonna get ran. It's like four of them, maybe. And... They're drinking. I think it's one of their birthday. They're having a good time. I guess he started to kind of get a little too touchy and feeling a little too rowdy for the girls. One of the girls came over there and she was basically like, well, can you please like get him out of our section? Like, okay, he bought us the drinks, but we ready for him to go now. We trying to hit him, but he's not leaving. I went straight to do that. So as soon as she tell me that I'm on it, like, I'm like, well, let me go get the security guards and let them know. Because one thing about me, if one of my customers, especially a girl, if any of my customers ever say like they're in need that they feel like you know they're in danger whatever i'm on that because y'all being in the club it's just really really crazy a lot of pervs you know niggas getting drunk you got to be careful even us as workers so as soon as she said that I goes to security guard the security guard goes over there to try to ask him nicely but he's like i'm good i'm straight i just bought them drinks wooty wooty woo but they still trying to get him out so y'all this man literally had to get escorted out like he was literally trying to fight the security guard because he did not want to leave it was definitely a crazy story like that shit was crazy he actually came back another time and then they tried to kick him out again because i was like the security that was like ain't you the guy that we kicked out the last time and he trying to deny and i was like yeah that was him so they got him out of there the second time this gonna be part one because i know i didn't tell too much but y'all gotta get another part to this because y'all it just be crazy stuff happening in the court also bottle girl vlogs are not on pause i'm gonna continue to do bottle, bottle girl vlogs because i know y'all like them but it's just right now the club scene is kind of slow i have still been selling bottles i have still been doing all of that but you know everything just been slow and plus i just been trying to be more private yeah i'm just working on being more private with my nightlife but trust and believe when i do upload a bottle girl vlog it's gonna be a lit one you feel me um but yeah that will conclude this video you guys i hope you guys continue to watch um support make sure you guys like this video if you haven't liked yet spam the comments talk to me talk to your girl and suggest like stuff y'all want me to do we have some more coming because i know a lot of everybody always hit me up about what clubs to work at in atlanta dm it to me i want to know what clubs i work at to know what clubs i work at make sure you guys follow me on instagram make sure you guys follow me on twitter snapchat whatever it is everything will be linked down below and on the screen somewhere so make sure you guys follow me so you guys can actually know a little bit more guys follow me on all social medias more content coming on there and vlogs i vlogged the homecoming concert but i couldn't vlog as much because i was actually with the artist so that's a whole story time i might tell that later on like because that story time was that that day was crazy like that whole day was crazy if you were my close friends, you probably know a little bit, but that day was crazy. I so say we did have the latest homecoming concert. We did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day, a blessed week. The holidays are approaching, so get in the holiday spirit if you're not in the holiday spirit. And also follow me on all socials, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I will see y'all in the next one.